Welcome to the Twilight Zone. Here we have Austin, and I guess a lot of what we think to be possibly African swallows carrying coconuts flying around. Or, you know, probably not really. So this is what the river's been like all day. It's pretty foggy, pretty awesome. There's lots of different layers of fog. I don't know if it's very layered right now, but it's pretty sweet. Some really creepy logs. The fog's also like 15 or 20 degrees colder than the rest of the air. Yeah, if we stood up right here, it'd be like pretty hot and muggy, but it feels like we're like in prehistoric times. It's all foggy and cool. And, and the fact that there's pterodactyls. Yeah, there's there's been some pterodactyls. Put put pterodactyl. Starts with the feet. But you don't really say that part. Here we are at the end of day one of our canoe trip, and it's finally looking sunny outside but it's like almost eight o'clock at night so it's just about gone anyways this is where we've stopped here's our canoe we kind of emptied it out here's our tent all of our stuff it's a uh, it's kind of small so me and Austin are gonna get real close this is where we've kind of set up he's trying to cook some some ramen noodles and over here's, we got just a little bit of firewood and we're gonna try to start a fire. And that's our freaking awesome fire. It took us like two seconds. Cause we're BA like that. Cause we're BA like that. You know. Basically. So, uh, yeah. So we're just kind of chilling out. And uh, it's only like 8.30. And this is pretty much the rest of our day is just watching this fire burn. All right, so it's about eight o'clock. Monday morning, our second day of the trip. Austin's still sleeping in a tent. He's about to get a rude awakening. Ah! Dude, <laughs> do that. All right, Joel is going to swing out there. All right, ready when you are. Three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> Got it. Oh, he said, oh, he said no before you ever got up. <laughs> I am scarred for life. This is it. This is it. Pull up and drop. Go, 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 go. Oh. 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 <laughs> well, we sure can't say that you're not trying anymore. This is it, baby. Flip it up. <laughs> right, here we go. That's how you do a perfect flip. Towards the end of the second day of our canoe trip, we're just kind of cruising. We've gone just over 20 miles already today. And we decided we could afford to just relax a little bit and uh, float down the river.
We got a bunch of bunch of birds up here on this island. I'm sure they're gonna all fly off when we when we approach them. Austin said they're sunning their wings. There they go. There go some of them. They're big old birds. I gotta paddle a little bit. Look at them go. Look at them. This is our last night on the river. In the distance you can see a bridge that apparently we weren't supposed to go on, but we did. And then someone told us not to. The river's pretty peaceful. Right here is supposed to the last spot. There's Austin in our tent and our canoe and this is gonna be our fire soon and then you know some extra firewood. So it's it's gonna be pretty good. We're gonna cook some hot dogs tonight and hopefully nobody comes from up there and kicks us off this property. Here we have the fire numero du duo dos something like that. And uh it took us a little bit longer to get started this time but it's pretty good, it's pretty hot. I don't know if you can't really see Austin over there, but he's uh he's cooking a hot dog. Yeah. That's our uh, supper for for day two. So it's been pretty good, just had two hot dogs. It's Tuesday morning, about nine o'clock, this is the last day of our trip. We're about to, to pack up camp. And we've just got maybe what about thirteen miles to go? Yeah. Something like that. Thirteen, fourteen miles. And that'll be it. just about done with day two day three I guess this is our last day and uh, looks like it's gonna be storming soon so we're trying to get done We've only got about three or four miles left and uh, that'll be the end of the trip so yes yeah, that's, that's what we're trying to run from is uh, the thunder it's uh, not extremely close but we still like to be out of the water before it storms close enough too close for comfort. Here we are trying to call the canoe rental people but we either get a busy signal or it rings forever. So we're just kind of chilling out. Made some peanut butter jelly sandwich. Yeah, it's running pretty good. Uh, I hate it's blowing in on me. It's been a good one. We've enjoyed it a lot. We have. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. D. Forrest Joel Grissom, about to go down a Class 6 rapid on the Elk River. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and look at that, folks. He's done it head first and backwards. Head first and backwards. <laughs> Joel, do you have anything to say to the people at home? I love you. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Goodbye, Joel. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Up in. So it's off for now. <laughs> oh, <rocks. laughs> Bye, Joel. Bye, bye. He's just gonna float down the river. <laughs> Oops. 